Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nurmal here and in this video, we'll show you the Fun Touch OS 13 on top of Android 13. Now we have the IQ 9 Pro with us and uh, this device has uh, uh, got the latest uh, Android 13 update and this brings in the Fun Touch OS 13. Now Fun Touch OS 12 was a pretty good update. So let's see how big the update on the uh, IQ 9 Pro is uh, with respect to uh, Fun Touch uh, OS 13 because Android 13 uh, we all know a lot of features are there but uh, this is uh, more of a custom UI so let's see how this uh, has improved and uh, what are the changes. So before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So first let's have a look at uh, the settings and uh, here you can uh, see that about phone now we have the fun touch os 13 and uh, this uh, is uh, uh, the iq 9 pro and uh, here we have android version as 13 and uh, here you can see that this is the android version 13 so that's the new ui now next uh, let's uh, see how the settings panel is so you can see here more or less similar in terms of uh, icons and layouts you can see here these are uh, grouped and not much of difference here i don't really see any major difference in terms of settings panel uh, all the features remain the same then if you look at uh, the notification toggles here also you can see here more or less similar uh, the arrangements uh, you can see here multiple uh, screens are there the arrangements are quite similar let's go to the uh, home screen and uh, just press and hold you can see here wallpapers ui colors widgets and home settings let's go to the ui colors so here you can see that uh, uh, there are some changes uh, there are multiple options here you can see here eight wallpapers paper color options are there previously we didn't have this many options then uh, you have the preset colors and you can select this and uh, ui color now uh, we'll just come back once again so here you can see system and ui app color when disabled system and app your colors will be restored to the default setting so you can apply them uh, uh, without having to choose the wallpaper color so apply icons to icons as well so you can see here icons can also be now changed to that color so we'll just select uh, one color say for example i will just select this and now you can see that icon so uh, let's go back and now you can see that the icons have also been changed uh, previously it was uh, the stock uh, color or stock icons now you can see that the icons have also been changed so these are some changes now available so more customization options are there previously we didn't have this many customization options with uh, android 12 and fun touch os 12 but with 13 and uh, uh, android 13 we get uh, more options so this is one uh, customization option now if you go to settings also you can see these icons have changed previously these icons were uh, uh, colored now we can see here now they are themed and uh, it looks uh, very uh, much uh, pleasing uh, uh, the overall uh, color layout here also you can see here the colors have changed so it's more or less uh, system wide previously it was not system wide but uh, here more more and more options have been uh, made uh, system wide so that's one of the important change now let's uh, go to the uh, uh, recent ski here you can see here more or less similar the uh, option to uh, switch between apps and uh, here we can see that icons have changed now let's uh, go to the other option so here we don't see any major change ultra game mode then uh, shortcuts uh, accessibility so almost all of that uh, remains the same so not much of a change here now if you go to display and settings so you have the dark mode and other options so screen resolution you can see here now this is slightly bigger screen previously we did have only two options now you can see here it's uh, more or less uh, a uh, uh, pictorial representation is there for screen resolution but otherwise uh, very similar even uh, the 120 hertz refresh rate is also included here that's more or less uh, uh, based on uh, uh, the device so that's uh, the ui changes so let's uh, go to the other options there is one now there is one change uh, with respect to the album so if you just select uh, you know uh, ui you can see here there is an option to hide uh, the photo so hide this image you can view in album settings hidden so now you can hide uh, uh, an image so now this image has been hidden now if you go here and album settings you can see here hidden so this uh, option allows you to hide uh, certain photos but again the, there is no password protection available for hidden photos so it's basically uh, just the hidden and if a person knows that there is a hidden option then uh, probably they will be able to view it but uh, just temporarily kind of hidden option is there so that's one of the changes so that's a new change now if you go to the dialer you can see here not much change uh, almost a similar dialer and recent option so that's uh, the ui so you can see here uh, not much of change now looking at the camera ui 
uh, almost similar camera UI you can see here of uh, portrait mode night mode so uh, I don't see any major change in terms of uh, the camera UI more or less similar so notification toggle now you can see the app drawer app drawer is again a similar apps and widgets so again you can uh, sort the apps and now as I said before the theming allows you to have uh, the custom icons here so that's uh, one of the changes here so these are some of the changes so so all in all you can see that uh, there isn't any drastic difference between uh, the fun touch os uh, 13 and fun touch os uh, 12 except for a couple of features one is the theming and then uh, we have the hidden uh, albums but then otherwise uh, it's more or less similar uh, you can see that almost all uis including the recent ski the settings panel then uh, camera uh, the notification toggles almost everything uh, looks uh, very similar here we have the widget some additional widgets are there this was available uh, in uh, the previous uh, uh, version as well so not much of difference so uh, the fun touch os 13 is more or less as minor upgrade to the fun touch os 12 it's not a major upgrade the only difference is that it gets the android 12 features uh, or rather android 13 features uh, which are not available in the fun touch os uh, 12 so if you have uh, this device this will be available on the vivo devices as well as iq devices so vivo x80 pro has already got it similarly uh, the iq 9 pro has also got it so this will be available uh, across other devices as well the iq's devices and also vivo's devices so if you get this you can upgrade it you don't see much of difference except for the fact that uh, the slight changes are there to ui so hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day